Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin the show. The coronation is going to start a few minutes late, primarily because we have a special guest with us this evening, Sergeant Leroy Peasley. Leroy Peasley keeps telling me I was just a PFC during World War II. And anybody that knows the history of World War II knows that just those PFCs did a hell of a lot of work. Leroy eventually became a sergeant after, he, after the war ended and he remained in the reserves for a short time. Leroy fought in the Battle of Guam. At Iwo Jima. At Iwo Jima. And he helped to bury the dead at Iwo Jima. This man has seen a lot. When the war ended, Leroy guarded President Franklin Roosevelt during a meeting with Winston Churchill at what was then Shangri-La and now you know it as Camp David. In 2010, Sergeant Peasley led the crowd gathered at a function at the uh, Portland Expo in the Pledge of Allegiance while President Obama was there. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good crowd. Pretty good feather in his cap. But he said there isn't anything more important that he's done in the last 70 years than to be right here on the main stage at the Maine Lobster Festival during the coronation. He's going to perform a song that he wrote 30 years ago about the Maine Lobster Festival. And to my understanding, it's never been performed in public. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Sergeant Leroy Peasley, United States Marine Corps. so different, you know, when you get up in front of people, you know, like this. But the main thing is this. You are the background of this country. And I'm here because no matter how I felt, because I wanted to perform this one song, because when you're going on to 94, there aren't too many more left. So this is dedicated not only for rock, but for you. As the plane that I call rock, a man and it's a too far away. It's the place stuck on the main coast, right on Jolson Bay. It's the day when I retire, I'm going back to say, and settle in that city. Where friendship is the way, where the love goes past the long every year, and she's left to the right from the day. And another deep goddess brings over the captivity. So come to us from the summer and help celebrate 70 years that we held our love. But uh, all the people are in here. You know, 
1951, April the 19th, Jenna MacArthur had a farewell address in Congress. And his last words were, Old soldiers never die. They just fade away. Now, he's a great man, and but I, I'm an old Marine, so I'm going to say it this way. Old Marines don't die. They just keep on singing and playing their guitar. <laughs> Wasn't that wonderful? We're going to let Sergeant Peasley get seated before we begin the coronation. How many in the audience are here who have the good sense to live here all the time? How many of you in the audience wish you lived here all the time? For those of us who live here, how about a big hand for those of us for those people that are jealous of us because this is where we reside. Thank you all for being here. My name is Gordon Page. I'll be your master of ceremonies this evening. At this time, I would ask you all to please rise as we present the colors and to remain standing for the National Anthem. At this time I would like to introduce the color guard from our United States Coast Guard Station Rockland, members of Coast Guard Station Rockland as well as members of Coast Guard Cutter Abby Burgess, Coast Guard Cutter Thunder Bay, and Coast Guard Cutter Tackle. Left, 
Please be seated. The national anthem was sung by our 2016 sea goddess, Adriana Ames. Now, to introduce King Neptune and his court of pirates and mermaids and scalawags. S.S. Mahan, please welcome Lieutenant Marcus Jones, who will offer a memorial presentation for all the men and women who have been lost at sea. Thank you, sir. Good evening. And I'd like to personally thank you all for the privilege of offering this invitation. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, I am reminded of the psalmist who wrote, Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And since 1947, this community has united to promote and support the hardworking Rockstar community. And for that, we thank you. Be with us, O God, throughout the next five days and forevermore. Wrap us, wrap us in your love, your peace, and your warmth. Bless those who have labored to organize, plan, and prepare this event in your most holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. At this time, King Neptune will place a wreath on the anchor. Thank you. 
thank you to Alexandra Linda Saunier for that song, and to Adriana Ames for her song as well as played taps, and our piano player for this evening, Miles Kelly. Thank you all. Please welcome now to the stage 2016 Crown Princess Winona Harvey, who will talk briefly about a program that she worked on, and she'll introduce some of the uh, additional crown holders from around our wonderful state of Maine. Winona Harvey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I would like to introduce to you our 2017 Maine sweetheart, Heaven Luce. Our 2017 Miss Vacation Land, Annabelle Trump. Our 2017 Maine Strawberry Blossom, Claire LeVere. Our 2017 Maine Strawberry Princess, Emily Donahue Ripley. Our 2017 Maine Strawberry Queen, Cami Collins. Our 2017 Miss Maine Harvest, Elizabeth Bowman. And our 2016 Maine Wild Blueberry Queen, Kimberly Reed. Congratulations, ladies, on your titles. Thank you, Winona, and thank you, ladies. This Lobster Festival coronation can't be completed without a judging, and so we'd like to recognize our five judges this evening who are seated on stage. Folks, I'll ask you to stand when I call your name and remain standing. Hold your applause. Until the end, please. A retired educator and chair of the Maine State Museum Commission and the Lobster Festival's Maine Sea Goddess of 1957, please welcome Shirlene Heath Pope Goslin. A local business owner and a community cheerleader and a big supporter of the Rockland Lobster Festival, the Maine Lobster Festival, Molly Luce. Hope Billingsley is a certified Miss America preliminary pageant judge and mother of the 2015 Lobster Festival's Crown Princess, Peyton Billingsley. Ruth Woodbury Starr is the general manager of Rockland's newest hotel, 250 Maine. And last but not least, a retired educator, a Rockland native, and a former mayor of the city of Rockland, Mr. Tom Malloy. Take your bows, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Also on stage, sitting over here to my left, returning sea goddesses celebrating their incremental 10-year anniversaries from 2007, celebrating her 10th anniversary as Maine sea goddess, Megan Rehnquist. From 1967, celebrating her 50th anniversary as Maine sea goddess, please welcome Elaine Morse Ames Brown. From 1957, celebrating her 60th anniversary of the main sea goddess, Shirlene Heath Hope Flynn once again. And our special guest this evening, she was the main sea goddess in 1949. Please welcome Cigna Swanholm Gardner. Cigna's been, carrying, Cigna's been carrying that title for 68 years. And now an introduction of our... Forgive me for the microphone, we'll get it straight.
here to help us celebrate not only the 70th Maine anniversary of the Maine Lobster Festival, but also the 227th anniversary of the founding of the United States Coast Guard. Please welcome Commander of the 1st District of the United States Coast Guard, Rear Admiral Stephen D. Poole. Please rise up. Commanding Officer of the USS Nahan, Commander Harold Bowman Traper. <laughs> Executive Officer of the USS Nahan, Commander Emily M. Wall. <laughs> Ladies, we're going by military rank, so we'll call your name shortly. <laughs> Commanding Officer of US Coast Guard Cutter Thunder Bay, Lieutenant Chris Hepp. Commanding Officer of U.S. Coast Guard Station Rockland, Chief Warrant Officer Hans Schultz. <laughs> Commanding Officer of U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Abby Burgess, Chief Warrant Officer Michael Bollinger. <laughs> Command Master Chief of the USS Mahan, Master Chief Jan Riga. Commanding Officer of U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Tackle, Bosun's Mate Chief Petty Officer, Malia Chasti. <laughs> and also, the Brass of Rockland, Maine. Please welcome the Mayor of the City of Rockland, the Honorable Will Clayton. <laughs> also on stage with us this evening, the president of the Maine Lobster Festival, Cynthia Powell. The co-chair of the Rockland Coast Guard City Committee, Laurie Smith. Our coronation chair, Sharon Lombardo. Sharon's committee members here on stage. Melissa Ann Burgess is the 2008 Crown Princess. Melissa, where are you? Way over there. The 2011 Crown Princess Kelly Leidenroth, way over there. 2016 Miss Congeniality Peyton Feener. 2016 Crown Princess Winona Harvey. Committee member Jill Sullivan and Committee Mayor Roberta Wentworth. Also on stage are aides to Admiral Poulin, including Lieutenant David A. Figueroa, Master Chief Jason Griffin, and Stephen Patrick Smith. And once again, please welcome Sergeant Leroy Peasley. Sharon Lombardo to the stage. Many, many thanks to Gordon Page for being our MC, and he is mighty handsome in his talks. <laughs> I would like to thank our sponsors, and these are just the coronation sponsors. Uh, without their help, we couldn't take the girls to on all the tours and educate them about the city of Rockland and the Midcoast area. Atwood's Lobster, Barry Shepherd from Shepherd, Beans Lobster, Bixby Bars, Brio Promotions, By George Jewelers, Domino's Pizza, Fansworth Museum, ISR and Hanover Lobster Boat Insurance Program, Knox Center for Long-Term Care, the Law Offices of Jimmy Brennan for tallying all the judges' figures, Loose Transportation, Maine Coast Wedding and Special Events, Maine Lighthouse Museum, Maine State Prison Industries. I want you to note the big trap behind you. They just built that for us. Mass AV, Mid-Coast Lobsterman, the Rockland Coast Guard Base, 
in the cutters, the Coast Guard Cutter Thunder Bay, and the Coast Guard Cutter Tackle, the Samoset Resort, Sea Coast Scaffold and Equipment Company, Seasons Down East Design, Skin Clinic and Day Spa, Sonio Salon, Somebody Loves Me Bridal, Trackside Station Restaurant, and Walmart. I want to thank you very much. lady that is no longer with us. Her name is Ruth Hoke. Ruth Hoke is here with us tonight in spirit and she is the most excited one on the grounds. She would not have believed that she is being recognized for what she loved to do for 33 years. She is thinking about how the festival has affected so many young lives. She loves each sea princess like family. There are young girls in the audience tonight who will be future princesses and sea goddesses. What you experience here tonight are some of the programs Ruth Hope put in place 70 years ago. The most important attributes of Ruth's life were family, the church, community, work, and business. She had three sons whose successes reflected the life and training and home life she gave them growing up. Her oldest son, Dave, served as president of the Rock and Rock Port Lime Company for 15 years, and today serves on the board of the Rockland Historical Society. Her youngest son, Bill, married Shirley Heath, the 1957 sea goddess, and he served as the Gardner High School athletic director in Gardner, Maine. While in the Navy, the Hoke's middle son, Wesley, received orders to report to Saigon, Vietnam, to serve as the advisor to the Vietnam, Vietnam Navy, which was a fleet of Chinese junks. He was in a deplorable situation. West sent a letter to his mother requesting all the blankets she could find. She went to work and had many Rockland organizations, including the schools, to send blankets to Vietnam. Wes explained that giving a blanket to a fisherman was like giving him a house. With other requests that he made to companies all over the country, the results were remarkable, and he became a national hero. He wrote about his experiences in a book called Die We Hope. I've read it, it's a very good read. Ruth Hope was always patriotic and concerned about our veterans. She loved each one like her own son. During World War II and every war since, the Gold Star Mothers and Blue Star Mothers have had a program to put a star in the window in, on each serviceman's home and a gold star in the window where a serviceman has died in service. Ruth Hope wrote a song about the stars in the windows. And now, Adriana Desaigne is going to sing Ruth's songs. This has never been sung in public before. So please welcome Adriana. That's Alexa. I apologize. Alexandra, oh. Sharon. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. Okay, thank you. Is there one star or two in your window tonight? Is the star shining there instead of the light? Does the star bring back memories of days of yore? When your boy built planes and ships on the floor, 
the name of that song is My Style. I would now like to introduce our president, Cynthia Powell, to come up and say a few words. Good evening. On behalf of myself and my fellow directors and members of the Maine Lobster Festival, welcome to the coronation of the 70th Maine Sea Goddess. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished U.S. Coast Guard and Naval guests this evening, and we would like to thank them all very much for their service. as well, Gordon Page, for all your work tonight as MC. <laughs> Seventy years ago, in 1947, community leaders felt that we needed to do something to help support local lobstering families and to provide a community event. And from that start, the Maine Lobster Festival was born. We began as a one-day event, all you could eat for a dollar. And over the decades, we've evolved into a five-day event that welcomes tens of thousands of visitors from all over the world. And while we've grown in size, our mission remains the same, to support our lobstering families and promote the industry where we're proud to say that all the steamed lobsters and lobster meat that is served at the Maine Lobster Festival is locally sourced right here in Knox County. We continue to support our local communities in ways large and small. In the last decade alone, we've been fortunate to be able to donate over $750,000 in the form of equipment and vehicles to our first responders, annual scholarships to deserving high school seniors to go on to higher education and training, donations to many area charities and organizations such as local food pantries, senior and student groups, local sports groups, animal rescue, and many other groups in need. All that is made possible by the support of you all, and we appreciate that very much. There are many traditions that are here at the festival, and one of the constants throughout our entire 70 years is the coronation of the main sea goddess. The 14 young women that are going to be on stage tonight are now part of the history of the Maine Lobster Festival and I congratulate them all and wish them now all the very very best of luck. And before I go I do want to say one final thank you to everyone here tonight to the families and the friends in the audience to our community and to our over 1300 volunteers who are amazing and who help, without whose help we simply could not do this. So I say thank you to all of you for all of your hard work and happy 70th anniversary to the Maine Lobster Festival. Thank you. And all of your key members for what you do and how hard you work. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome to the stage Rear Admiral Stephen D. Pooler. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, what a thrill for me to be here. It's really a thrill because I got to meet and talk with Sergeant Leroy Beasley. Sir, thank you for your service. Let me offer you my personal salute of respect and admiration. We in uniform proudly carry on the legacy and the standard that you set. We have the lot, sir. Thank you for your service. I'm also very privileged to be here because I represent the 40,000 active duty Coast Guard men and women who serve on the front lines today, our 8,000 reserve members, our 8,000 civil servants, and our 30,000 civilian auxiliary volunteers. I'm proud to work with them each and every day. 11,000 of that workforce serves here in the Northeast. I have the privilege of commanding them. You heard some of them who serve here in Rockland. I am very proud of them and I'm proud of their families. Our families stand behind us and allow us to do what we love to do each and every day. So to all you military families out there, I say thank you. Thank you for your service and support. I also would like to extend to you a happy 70th, 70th anniversary for this festival. What a phenomenal event. Congratulations to the organizers, to the sponsors, 
to the participants and to the volunteers. Mayor, what a tremendous event. Cynthia, congratulations to you and congratulations to all of Rockland. Another reason why I feel so privileged to be here is I was born in Kittery and my family is from Freeport. I'm a Mainer. But I do have a confession. My dad was in the Air Force and we moved around, even though we always came back here in the summers and for holidays. And I still have family here in Freeport today. This is my first time ever at the Rockland Lobster Festival. I'm sorry, it's my first time. Who do I know? I went to many a clan festival in Yarmouth, but now I'm here at the Lobster Festival. I can now say that I have fully culminated in my Coast Guard career, and I'm proud to be here. I'd be remiss if I also didn't extend a warm welcome to our friends from the Navy, the crew of the USS Mahan. Thank you for being here, Skipper. Appreciate it. Um, we have an indelible bond with the US Navy. We're a seagoing service, and that bond has been forged in war and in peace. So it's a real pleasure to have you here, and thank you. The other reason why I think this is a phenomenal event, and I can say that now as a full-fledged mayor, having been here at the Rockland Rock Lobster Festival. The reason why I think this is a phenomenal event is because I got a chance to read the bios for the princesses, I got a chance to meet and talk with them at dinner earlier, and what a tremendous, tremendous group of young women that are represented here today. Maine is well represented and should be very proud of these young women, so uh, well done, and I, I look forward to seeing them out here on stage. But I will tell you, one thing that they don't know is I brought a whole stack of Coast Guard service contracts because I'm ready to sign them up. <laughs> These are the kind of young women that we want in our Coast Guard, I'll tell you. And I'll tell you, I'm, I stand ready to administer the oath of office tonight if I could. <laughs> One of the other reasons why it's such a thrill for me to be here is because not only is this the 70th anniversary of the Maine Lobster Festival, but it also coincides with the 227th anniversary of the United States Coast Guard. We were founded as, as a service in 1790 by one of the first acts of Congress. And for these last 227 years, we have prote been protecting America from threats delivered by the sea, we have been protecting those on the sea, and we have been protecting the sea itself. And we are so proud to serve folks here in Maine, we're proud to serve this community. We're going to continue to serve this community. We're going to continue to live our motto of Semper Paratus, always ready, so that we stand always prepared to be worthy of the trust and confidence that you place in your United States Coast Guard. <laughs> the thing about serving in the Coast Guard is we get to be stationed in and become part of the communities. And I don't think there is a better example of how the Coast Guard has become part of the community than here in Rockland. We are proud to call Rockland a Coast Guard city. We are proud to call them a partner. We are proud to volunteer and support this festival. You probably saw many of them cooking and uh, bringing the lobster down to the tent. I even got to cook lobster. Scary, but I got to cook. And oh, by the way, my wife is in the audience. Where is she? Where's Sherry? Sherry? For Christmas, I want a lobster pot like that. <laughs> but we have become part of this community and we're so proud of that. Community service is in our DNA. And in turn, Rockland has embraced us. And again, I think this is an example for the rest of the nation. So thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for allowing me to participate in this tremendous event. I'm proud to serve you. I'm proud to serve with these Coast Guard men and women. Thank you so much. Semper Paratus, and happy birthday to all those who have served or had family who have served in the United States Coast Guard. God bless you. Thank you. Admiral, thank you for being here, and thank you, sir, for your service. By now you've realized that those by now you've realized that those clams don't have claws and they don't have tails. So you're in the right place right now. <laughs> Ready? 
ready to join me on stage now is our 2016 Sea Goddess, Adriana Ames. Please give her a warm welcome. And Adriana Elaine Ames graduated from North Haven Community School in 2016. She's currently enrolled at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, and will soon begin her sophomore year majoring in Entertainment Industry Studies with a minor in Music Business. She's the daughter of Charles Williams and the late Marina Ames. Her mother was a sea princess 30 years ago in 1987, and her grandmother, Elaine Ames Brown, was crowned sea goddess 50 years ago in 1967. Her plans after college are to pursue a career in the country music industry. She's currently working on recording her first EP with hopes that it will be released in the near future. Her hobbies include singing and playing guitar, songwriting, performing, and traveling the world. Adriana is employed at by D.W. Bowden Construction and the fishing vessel Locomotion. Adriana's sponsors for the 2016 pageant were Penobscot Island Air of South Thomaston, J.O. Brown and Sons, and J.B. Land Improvements, both of North Haven, the fishing vessel Storm Warning of Owl Sand, and Best Rates Towing of Rockland, Miss Adriana Elaine Haynes. that I've ever met. 
whether it's ice cream runs at 10 o'clock at night, jamming out to unnecessarily loud music, or just going on a ride to talk about life, it doesn't matter what we're doing, I'm having the time of my life with Chase. He was instantly one of my very best friends. I can't explain how thankful I am to have been a part of the Sea Goddess pageant, but the best part of it all was meeting those three beautiful people and still being able to call them my best friends a year later. I knew from the beginning that whether I won or not, I would be walking away from this competition with three unbreakable relationships, and I couldn't be happier. I want to thank my sponsors for making this all possible for me. Jeff Edwards, owner of Fishing Vessel Storm Warning of Owl's Head. Kevin Waters, owner of Penobscot Island Air in Owl's Head. Donnie Blackman, owner of Best Rates Towing in Rockland. Mike Brown, my papa, owner of JB Land Improvements Incorporation, and Foy Brown, owner of J.O. Browns and Son Incorporation, both from North Haven. Their financial support made this all possible. I want to thank Miss Sharon. I can confidently speak for everyone who has ever been a sea princess with Sharon that we could not ask for a better mentor. Okay. I also want to thank the U.S. Navy and the Coast Guard for making the time to be a part of this pageant and for selflessly serving our country and keeping all of us safe. Lastly, I want to thank my Nono and my Papa and my Dad. I wouldn't be who I am today if not for them. I always know that I have a shoulder to cry on, open arms to run to, a listening ear to rant to, a support system holding me up, and three smiles shining back at me at the end of every day. I love you all very much. I know how ready these girls are to get this show on the road, so to wrap this up, I want to thank all of you for coming tonight and supporting the Sea Goddess pageant and the 14 beautiful women that will be standing up here shortly. I wish the best of luck to all of you, and I hope that you can walk away from this competition with as positive of an experience as I did. Thank you. Okay, ladies. I know why some of you are here. Representing the United States Coast Guard, stationed right here in the official Coast Guard city from Cutter Tackle, Cutter Abbey Burgess, Cutter Thunder Bay, and Coast Guard Station Rockland, and crew members from the visiting USS Mahan. doesn't come with every assignment, I'm sure. Admiral, would you agree to that? It's tough stuff. Somebody had to do it, and these gentlemen volunteered. Thank you all for being here, and thank you all for your service. I hope you enjoy your stay in Rockland. And for those of you who actually reside here from the U.S. Coast Guard, we're, we're happy that you're here. Ready. Now what you've all been waiting for, our 2017 Sea Princesses will now come out and be introduced. Sydney Bryson Hall. Sydney Bryson Hall of Owl's Head is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. The daughter of Samuel and Andrea Hall, her hobbies include ice hockey, lacrosse, key cob, student government, unified cheerleading, Cape Luther Research Expedition, STEM, and Theater. She's employed at the Pearl Restaurant in Rockland. 
Future plans include attending the University of New Hampshire, majoring in biology, with dental school to follow. Sydney sponsors are the Pearl and Eclipse restaurants, George C. Hall and Sons of Rockland, and Fishing Vessel Sunrise of Wheeler's Bay, Bruce Ed, Miss Sydney Bryson Hall. Kelsey Marie Merrill. Kelsey Marie Merrill, the Pope, is a 2017 graduate of Camden Hills Regional High School. The daughter of Eric McAvoy and Doug Merrill, her activities include varsity tennis, student library advisory committee, Camden for community, varsity sailing, varsity basketball, Leo's retirement home enrichment plan, Skills USA, and NTHS. Her hobbies include playing tennis, sailing, volunteering, photography, working, socializing with friends, and going to the beach. She's employed by Quarry Hill and River Ducks Ice Cream. Her future plans are to attend Curry College and become a registered nurse. Kelsey's sponsors are River Ducks Ice Cream and Waterfront Restaurant of Camden. All Directions Transport and Hope General Store of Hope and Bradford Brothers Seafood of Rockport. Miss Kelsey Marie Merrill. Lauren Ashley Hatch of Cushing is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. The daughter of Joseph and Jolie Hatch, her activities include soccer and softball. Her hobbies are trekkers, skiing, fishing, coaching, and community service. She's employed by Midcoast Diesel and Miller's Lobster Company. She'll be attending the University of New England in the fall, majoring in dental medicine. Lauren's sponsor is Simmons Lobster Wharf in Friendship. Miss Lauren Ashley Hatch. <laughs> Elizabeth Lee Weaver of St. George is a 2017 graduate of Midcoast Christian Academy. She is the daughter of Kevin Weaver. Her school activities included student government and devotions team. Hobbies include fishing, reading, volunteering in her church, drawing and four-wheeling. She's the captain of the fishing vessel Justice. She'll be studying business at the University of Maine at Orono and then on to law school. Danielle sponsors are Coppola Salon and Day Spa of Rockland, Broad Cove Market and Kips Seafood, both of Cushing. Miss Danielle Elizabeth Lee, Brittany Ash Ashley Brown. Brittany Ashley Brown of Waldeboro is a 2017 graduate of Coastal Christian School and graduated as valedictorian. She's the daughter of Glenn and Trina Brown. School activities included acting, volleyball, and managing sports, and her hobbies are hunting, fishing, snowmobiling, playing volleyball, doing makeup, baking, and attending youth group and small group. She's employed at Damascotta Lake Farms and Union True Value. Her future plans are to attend one year of Bible College at World of Life Bible Institute in New York, then taking online business classes to become a businesswoman. Brittany's sponsors are KGB Bait and Midcoast Marine Supply, both of Waldeboro, GNS Lobster Company, and Wallace Lobster, both of Friendship. Miss Brittany Ashley Brown. Samantha Berry. Samantha Berry of Spruce Head is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. She is the daughter of Kendall Robinson. School activities include key club, lacrosse, fall musicals, and one acts. Her hobbies are working with kids and being with family and friends. She's employed at Muscle Ridge Market. Her future plans are to attend Merrimack College for early education. Samantha's sponsors are Glen Cove Dental in Rockport, Jake Barber Inc. in Owl's Head, and Muscle Ridge Market in South Thomaston. Miss Samantha Berry. Haley Don Witham. Haley Don Witham of Thomaston is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. She is the daughter of Troy and Don Witham. Her activities included soccer, track, softball, trekkers, musicals, one acts, and liberal arts academy. Hobbies include sports, fishing, hiking, coaching youth soccer clinics, and trekkers leadership. She's employed at Yardbird Canteen and also lobsters on the fishing vessel Cloud with her father. Future plans include attending Plymouth State University and graduating with a master's in athletic training and playing college soccer. 
Haley's sponsors are Brooks Trap Mill and Rock Coast Plumbing and Heating of Thomaston, the Fishing Vessel Cloud of Green Island, and Monheaton Boat Line of Port Clyde. Miss Haley Dunn with it. Margaret Rose Ryan of Warren. Margaret Rose Ryan Warren is a 2017 graduate of Madonna Valley High School. The daughter of Terry and Cheryl Ryan, her school activities included competition cheerleading, tennis, National Honor Society, and student government. Her hobbies are drawing, painting, and baking. She's employed by the Slipway Restaurant in Thomaston, and her future plans are to join America this fall and later attend college to major in nutritional science. Margaret's sponsor is Simmons Lobster Wharf of Friendship, Miss Margaret Rose Ryan. Shannon Lee Ripley. Shannon Lee Ripley of Owl's Head is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. The daughter of Edward and Daphne Ripley, her activities included sports, key club, and National Honor Society. Hobbies include wrestling, field hockey, coaching peewee sports, exercising, and drama club. She is employed at Country Keepers and she plans to attend Husson College for physical therapy. Shannon's sponsors are Eastern Tire of Rockland, Country Keepers of Owls Head, Fish Lips of Washington, and Maiden Hat of Bremen. Miss Shannon Lee Ripley. Ainsley Page Mecklin. Ainsley Page Mecklin of Rockland is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. The daughter of Dana Mecklin and Wendy Mecklin. Her activities included yearbook, key club, field hockey, and National Honor Society. Her hobbies are ballet, fishing, snowboarding, and weightlifting. She's employed by the Dipnet of Port Clyde and Country Keepers of Owl's Head. She plans to attend Husson University and graduate with a master's degree in occupational therapy and a bachelor's degree in healthcare studies. Ainsley's sponsors are Renee Thorpe Johnson of Level 10 Salon in Rockland, Mecklen Construction Company of Rockland, and the fishing vessel Sea Duckton of St. George. Miss Ainsley Page Mecklen. Ashlyn Isabel Ames. Ashlyn Isabel Ames of North Haven is a 2017 graduate of North Haven Community School. She is the daughter of Marshall and Tracy Ames. School activities include a student teacher at Laugh and Learn Preschool, carpentry and welding in a diversified trades course, senior leader in the annual high school expedition to the White Mountains, costume designer for one act play competition, culinary arts, boys varsity basketball team manager, and EMT student. She's employed at Alderwood Hall. Her future plans are to attend college at University of Maine at Farmington, majoring in early childhood education. She also hopes to travel and gain more experience in travel photography. Ashland sponsors are Caldwell Hall, LLC, Cooper Construction, Nebo Lodge, Nebo Lodge, the fishing vessel Patricia Lynn, and LaBelle Construction, all of North Haven. Miss Ashland Isabel. Hannah Marie Galkowski. Hannah Marie Galkowski of Hope is a 2017 graduate of Camden Hills Regional High School. The daughter of Jana Galkowski and Erica, excuse me, and Eric Egan. Her hobbies are community service, running, fishing, and skiing. Some of her interests are softball and basketball. She's employed at the Rockport Diner. Future plans are to go to college and become a nurse practitioner. And her sponsors are Fishing Vessel Nautilus of Owl's Head and Pals for Living in Rockland, Miss Hannah Marie Galkowski. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Masaryk of Rockland is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. The daughter of Richard and Jennifer Masaryk, her activities included field hockey, basketball, softball, unified cheering, National Honor Society, STEM, Key Club, and Theater. Her hobbies are coaching youth sports, fishing, kayaking, hiking, and traveling. She's employed at the Landings Restaurant. Her future plans are to attend the University of Maine to study business. Alexis' sponsors are Fuller Chevrolet GMC and the Landings Restaurant of Rockland. Miss Alexis Nicole Mazarin. 
Emily Riscala Davis. Emily Riscala Davis of Rockland is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School, where she achieved the status of valedictorian. She's the daughter of Stephen Davis and Karen Riscala. School activities included boats for bikes, key club, national honor society, math team, swim team, rowing, track, and cross country. Her civic activities include volunteering at soup kitchen, boats for bikes, and various key club projects and events. She enjoys spending time with her family and friends. She's employed by Claire McLaren, and her future plans are to study biochemistry with a pre-med track at Bowdoin College. Emily's sponsors are the Free Press of Rockland, St. George Realty, and George's Barbershop of Tennis Harbor. Miss Emily Griscala Davis. This last song is from one former sea princess to all you current sea princesses and to all our main girls and boys, however far you will go.
Miss Congeniality, Samantha Berry. Samantha Berry of Spruce Head is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. She's the daughter of Amy Robinson. School activities include key club, lacrosse, fall musicals, and one acts. Her hobbies are working with kids and being with family and friends. She's employed at Muscle Ridge Market. Her future plans are to attend Merrimack College for early education. Samantha sponsors her Glen Cove Dental in Rockport, Jake Barber Inc. in Owl's Head, and Muscle Ridge Market in South Thompson. Miss Congeniality 2017, Miss Samantha Ferry. Okay, folks, get your cameras out. Every year, the Lobster Festival recruits a young woman who is the crown bearer for the coronation. And this year, our 2017 crown bearer is Brianna Ashlyn Knudsen. <laughs> Brianna Ashlyn Knudsen is this year's crown bearer. A fun-loving six-year-old, Brianna will begin first grade in the fall. She enjoys figure skating, cheerleading, hiking, and arts and crafts. When time permits, Brianna volunteers at the local food pantry with her grandmother. She aspires to be a veterinarian when she grows up. Brianna resides in Warren with her parents, Matthew and Leanne, her sister Emily, and her dog, Lily. Miss Brianna Ashlyn Knudsen. Brianna will now take her place on the throne next to our 2016 sea goddess Adriana. Isn't she cunning? We'll announce the 2017 crown princess who will receive a check for $1,000. The sea princess will be crowned by Coast Guard Cutter Bay Commander Lieutenant Chris Hepp. College for Physical Therapy. Shannon sponsors our Eastern Tire of Rockland, Country Keepers of Owls and Fish Lips of Washington and Main Town of Raymond. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Crown Princess, Miss Shannon Lee Ripley. And now King Neptune is going to call up the name of another lady in a red dress. King, come forward, please, and announce the 2017 Sea Goddess who will receive a check for $2,000. How did you know she was wearing The judges have condemned the following girl to spend the next year with me. I'm so sorry. Our 2000. 
2017, 70th anniversary. Main Sea Goddess, Haley, Dawn, and Ripple. Haley will be crowned by Admiral Pula. Dawn Whitham. Haley Dawn Whitham of Thomaston is a 2017 graduate of Oceanside High School. She's the daughter of Troy and Dawn Whitham. Her activities include soccer, track, softball, trekkers, musical, one acts, and liberal arts academy. Hobbies include sports, fishing, hiking, coaching youth soccer clinics, and trekkers leadership. She's employed at Yardboard Canteen and also lobsters on the fishing vessel Cloud with her father. Future plans include attending Plymouth State University and graduating with a master's in athletic training and playing college soccer. Haley's sponsors are Brooks Trap Mill and Rock Coast Plumbing and Heating of Thomaston, the fishing vessel Cloud of Green Island, and our heating boat line of Port Clyde. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate our 2017 Maine Lobster Festival Sea Goddess, Miss Haley Dawn Whitman. Alexander de Saulnier for her vocals this evening. 
And how about a big round of applause for the young man back there playing piano who wore a bow tie in honor of somebody, Miles Kelly. Miles is a student at the Mid Coast Music Academy right here in downtown Rockland. And a special thanks to the Admiral. Thank you, sir. The commanders of the vessels, the vessel outside of the uh, harbor, the Mahan, and especially to the crew and the uh, commanders, commanding officers of U.S. Coast Guard Station, Rockland Coast Guard Thunder Thunder, Coast Guard Cutter Thunder Bay, Coast Guard Cutter Abbey Burgess, Coast Guard Cutter Tackle. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen.